In today's video, we are going to discuss our two different primer base coat options. So as I mentioned, we offer two different primers. We have our standard epoxy primer and we have a zinc primer. Now you can't go wrong with either one of these for a base coat. They are both an epoxy based powder coating and they are both very hard and durable coatings with great chemical and corrosion resistance. Now what sets them apart is the zinc that's actually enriched in the zinc primer. That zinc helps give that primer, the zinc primer, an edge when it comes to galvanic corrosion. Now this makes the zinc primer more effective at controlling corrosion on your ferrous metals. That's your steels, iron-based metals, things like that. Because the zinc acts as a sacrificial barrier to the corrosion protecting the steel or iron substrate underneath. Okay, so practical applications where you would use a zinc primer over epoxy primer would be in conditions, say marine or coastal environments or somewhere in the Midwest where they salt the road. So we're talking steel parts again. So uh, perhaps if you have steel railings and you live you know, in a coastal town that gets attacked by the salty air. The, the zinc in that primer is going to sacrifice itself before the corrosion gets to the steel substrate. Uh, other things could be steel wheels on cars um, or bumpers or suspension components, anything on that undercarriage which would come in contact with salty roads. Now keep in mind because these are epoxies they do need a UV stable top coat to be applied over them if you're going to use them in an exterior environment. Now the top coats that we would use would either need to be a polyester, a urethane, or an acrylic to make sure you have something UV stable over top of it. So hopefully this video has helped you decide which one of our primer base coats is going to work best for you. 